how to make the best offer yeah. when purchasing a home. Yep, yeah, it is no joke. There is a ton of competition out there, and I feel like we do cover this quite often, but we're entering the spring market. So there's a ton of competition out there, Ashley, but let's clarify that because there's with sellers, there's no competition. No, it is a seller's market, but the buyers, the mm. buyers all want the same property. So it is a frenzy. So when I take on a listing, when we're going over, especially several offers with our sellers, we're looking for a few things outside of obviously a good price okay mm-hmm. so obviously don't come in and put a low offer because if you want the house you can't put a low offer when you're competing against so many people no. if the house is pretty move-in ready if it's a newer home don't bust the seller's chops on home inspections take that down to say five calendar days seven calendar days okay you can still do your home inspection in time yeah. and if you can't you can also extend later on but ultimately if you waive inspections or if you take the days down that's a far better term for the sellers what about closing dates i mean the time frame Shh. because we can get a loan done in less than 30 days is mm-hmm. that advantageous does your sellers love that yeah yes and no i mean so it all depends on what the other parties do it all depends on what the seller's doing so sure. here's another way if the seller has to buy a home if they have to purchase a home in order to um you know to to close the transaction give that seller significant time if you can if you're in a position too mm-hmm. so you might want to put on their subject to seller finding suitable housing that might be that might be a plus i think that the the norm that most mortgage people ask for would be 45 days mm-hmm. and for some products 60 days but for closing, i right? for closing okay. from start to finish of a transaction but i think that in this market and you know i always sound like a broken record on here education no. be prepared if your buyer is you know prepare it up front there is no reason why we can't do 30 days or less so another question for you is mm-hmm. if your seller receives an offer and let's say they have a love letter from the buyer included in that does that help uh it all depends on the 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 type of personality of my client there's some clients that are like oh okay nice try <laughs> and then there's some clients that it's the ones that are very sentimentally attached to their home sure. if, if this is an emotional process for one of my clients selling a home, if they receive a letter from a family that reminds them of theirs, yeah. anything like that. And you, I mean, if it's a, a genuine heartfelt letter, it works. And Have your mortgage person call the agent and just give them the warm and fuzzies. Talk about how qualified you, you know smart, they are. Yeah. I always try to make a phone call and just give an introduction and say, you know what, we're gonna make this nice and smooth for everybody and you don't have to worry about X, Y, and Z. I already verified their documents and hopefully that helps get the buyer in a better position. Here's one other thing too. If you have an agent and you're a buyer and you should have an agent representing you, right? If you have an agent, make sure that that agent plays nice in the sandbox. I can't tell you about how many times we get other agents that are just I, I don't even understand how they're in a business of dealing with people because the claws come they're out. brash, you know, their claws yeah. come out. It's like, whoa, we, we've got the same goal here. Yeah. Why are you trying to beat me over the head with a battering ram? Like, what are you doing? Like, well, let's work together. Co-broke. Let's yeah. go together.